Welcome back to Crystal Clear on the Roundtable. I'm Ostrick Vox, and with the upcoming Steven Universe movie, we really need to take a look and consider how much will change because of the movie. I believe that there are some deep down fears that even if the movie is enjoyable, by the end of everything, it actually won't impact the series all too much. This assumption that we're getting a self-contained one-off story, an assumption I made at one point. However, after that huge press release from last week that revealed not only Chance the Rapper is joining the Steven Universe movie, Movie, but giving us just a glimpse into this movie's very large cast, I am suddenly reconsidering everything I thought I knew about the film. Like, yes, while these musical guests are phenomenal, having confirmation that all three diamonds we present in the film singing, and by extension having this movie serve as our first look at a post-Change Your Mind world, I think it's going to be much bigger than what we're initially perceiving. I don't want to generate any premature hype, but I'm going to. I think this movie is going to be big. One of the biggest things in the history of Steve Universe like ever. One of the biggest things in Cartoon Network's history. It's possible this movie could provide some major answers on some lingering mysteries in Steve Universe. Like giving us a look at Lion's Chest. No, I mean, not, not Lion's Chest. Although, yes, I'm sure he has a very nice animal six-pack. I mean the treasure chest, assumably belonging to Rose Quartz, which currently resides within the pocket dimension within Lion's Mane. God, that's more of ends within a period period of seconds and I'm more comfortable saying, oh god wait I just said it saying it then, I know how I speculated on gem rebellions, vengeful alien races, and alternate universes, but if you took a sample of the most popular mysteries in Steve Universe and told me which one would you make a movie out of, I would probably point right at the treasure chest and say, uh, that one. What makes a treasure chest such a big mystery is that everything in Lion's Mane tends to be a bigger reveal than the last. First it was a giant pink soul. Lord. Then it was a videotape that was a more personal and more direct gift to Steven. Although yes, depending at how and where you swing it, that story can be a lot more personal and direct too. But then we had Bismuth. A full-fledged character with their own backstory and arc. Someone who continued to recontextualize Rose Quartz. Open our eyes to the bigger picture of everything that's at play. So after Bismuth and the show itself acknowledging drawing direct attention to the treasure chest and line for alternate ending, us fans are just left to ask, what in the Sam Hill is even going to be in this chest? God himself? This is where the Steve Universe movie comes into play. I believe there's a chance that Lion's Chest could be the inciting incident of the film. The synopsis for the movie reads, The music-filled adventure for Steve and his friends will mark his first television movie. Steven thinks his time to fang the earth is over, but when a new threat comes to Beach City, Steven faces his biggest challenge yet. What if this new threat isn't just coming to Beach City? What if it's coming to Lion? Why? To access the dimension within Lion's Mane and to cover whatever in the heck it's in that treasure chest. A rule that the show has established that Rebecca Sugar stressed in an official Reddit AMA is that only Steven can enter Lion's Mane of his own accord. Anyone else Steven needs to allow in. This is such a specific rule that you think it would have a certain kind of payoff. Something that wasn't really established at first, but because we only entered Lion's Mane with Steven throughout the series, when they began to plan for the movie they realized, wait, we can make this a canon rule. It won't even have to be a retcon. Just clarification, because obviously the villain in the movie would go after Lion, try to figure out where the treasure chest is. The scanners say the chest is right here, but where is it? Leading to Steven foolishly revealing that only he can enter Lion's Main, and anyone else has to enter in with him. The villain goes cool and holds Steven ransom, forcing Steven to let the villain inside Lion's Main so they can steal the chest. However, they can't open it because they don't have the key. And if Pearl didn't know about Lion, if she didn't know about Bismuth, then I doubt she knows about the chest or the key's whereabouts, leading to a possible race against time throughout the movie, where Steven has to recover the key before it's too late. And as far as the Crystal Gems are concerned, Pink could have left the key on Homeworld, or at least it'd be a place to check, which is how the diamonds get brought into the story. And working this in with the alternate universe theory, if the villain does have the ability to send other people into different dimensions or universes, perhaps this works to Steven's advantage, and he ends up in a universe where the key was 
never lost. Or the key is inside Lion's Mane. But oddly enough, there's no chest. And maybe Steven has to plead with that universe's Steven to get the key off of him. But this Steven is a bit more of a dick. Kind of like the version of Steven that snapped in Steven and the Stevens. Wow, I said Stevens way more times than uncomfortable with in that sense alone. Ultimately, this movie could give us answers. Big answers. Or small answers. Kind of like how Change Your Mind could have been the end of the series. I think the movie could have also been the end of the series. And then Carnery came along and said, hey, uh, let's just do, you know, one more season, two more seasons, three more seasons, nine more seasons, Rick and Morty. Meaning at a certain point, they may have considered, hey, if this is our last hurrah and we're going to make this movie a celebration of CV Universe, let's open that chest. But hey, I guess only time will tell. But as always, these are just my thoughts, my insane theories, and I want to hear yours. Do you believe the treasure chest could be involved with the Steven Universe movie? Do you think more than one thing could be in the treasure chest? And we only get to see one object in the film. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below or tweet your thoughts at RoundtableVids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at Oshik Fox. We're also on Instagram. Help Roundtable grow by either becoming a member of the channel or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. Special thanks to Arwakota for creating an awesome thumbnail. For more of his work, you can find him on Instagram and Tumblr at Arwakota and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content, and hey, since it's summer and there's more cartoon news coming out, hit that bell for notifications. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Vox, signing out.